Good morning, everyone. Man, I love spring. We are in one of the best seasons because everything is blooming. You know, we went through a little bit of rain, April showers, spring May flowers. I used to hear that in school all the time. And the rain is so great because the water provides what the, the earth, the ground needs, the trees, the flowers. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a big, beautiful, white, blooming dogwood in my backyard. And it's this big tree that's been, you know, dead. And I can still see the branches during the winter time. But now it has tiny white little blooms blossoming all over it. And I think it's just the prettiest thing ever. And I love spring because it makes me think about rebirth and renewal. Everything that was dead in the winter time comes back and blooms again. And it's just like when we give our life to Christ, we come to him and he, he enters our heart and into our lives. And we are reborn through him. We literally are a new person. And now we have Jesus to cling to. Because you become a new person in the way you're given a different way to think and to be grateful and to have hope and trust and just know that God loves you and is guiding you. And that's a great thing in itself. And then we get to be the, like the branch on a tree clinging to the vine, right? We're clinging to God, clinging to Jesus. And because of that, we get to grow just like branches on a tree bloom or just like vines bloom like these grapes. And these grapes would not have bloomed unless they stayed on the vine and the vine stayed on the tree it was on. Um, things can't blossom unless they cling to what they're growing from. And that's just like us, guys, just like the way we're supposed to cling to God. He loves that, and he does nothing more than want to pump goodness and growth and joy into our lives. And the spring reminds me of that. So I really want you to just take a few minutes in the next day or two when you're outside and just be still and look around. Look at the trees that are blooming. When you're driving down the road, look at the trees. Look in the people's gardens and see the flowers that are starting to grow. It's just such a great feeling. And we're definitely meant to cling to Jesus just like uh, a branch to a vine or a tree. And I even found a verse in the Bible that says that. It's pretty familiar to a lot of people. And it's John 15, 4. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine... Neither can you unless you abide in me. And just like we said, you know, we went through some good rain and probably we'll get a little bit more, but the water is good for the earth. That's just like God teaching us and giving to us. And sometimes we have to learn through hard times, um, but he's always glorifying it and leading us toward, closer and closer to him, really. So I found a verse about that in Deuteronomy 32, 2. May my teaching drop as the rain. My speech distill as the dew, like gentle rain upon the tender grass and the showers upon the herb. So God's telling us that even in those hard times, just don't ever forget that he's there with you and that you can cling to him. 